So you want to invest in Web3, but you don't know what tokens to buy, you can use Swissborg's Thematics instead. They select a collection of the best performing Web3 tokens and rebalance them upon performance. So you don't need to worry about going all in on an absolute steaming turd. Sounds good to me. Swissborg. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's get straight into this video as I've got to go swimming in a minute with my with my kids and I uh, woke up late and blah blah blah. So I've got to get everything everything together. But it is Sunday. Sundays can usually be, it's, it's, to be honest with you, they're, they're usually the worst day. Uh, so we're just starting with the four hourly, we'll move up to the weekly. Um, right, so we've got our fresh cross now on the MACD. It means really not that much at all. Uh, histograms ticking, momentum slowly moving back up again. We pierced above the 10 exponential um, overnight and now we're getting rejected again from below it. So again, you know, this is all just a short term time frame stuff, uh, suggesting that this area down here was the area to be bouncing from and that area was the 50 exponential from yesterday. Uh, that 50 exponential has now disappeared from my chart altogether, so I am just going to have to bring this up. The 50 EMA, um, and uh, and yeah, so that that's where the bounce took place from. All right, has that just appeared as a 50? No, it hasn't. But it is the right colour at least. So yeah, we got our bounce from the 50 exponential on that daily, um, and so far so good. But it's not really anything to be honest. It is just one of the moving average to where we have bounced from. You know, when you get these golden crosses, and again, we are golden crossed on the daily, uh, you'd expect a retest of them, uh, we, uh, and, and like a deeper retest of them as, uh, as well. So we got the 200 down here, and then we got the 200 simple. Uh, today we got the, uh, well, yesterday we got the uh, 200 exponential, we got that two days in a row, bang, bang. So what I was saying on the live stream, I said, look, you know, this area failed, and the four hourly golden cross failed, but... The 50 exponential on the daily is the next place to, to go for. And also it comes in at a nice horizontal. And that's where we've bounced from so far. Look, we've done it two days in a row. If we do move down to it again today, I, I would still expect to see a bounce from it. Until we break down below that level, it's going to hold. But uh, on the, based around on the four hourly, the strength is trend uh, is uh, the trend is strengthening to the down. Sorry, I've, I've really, really not with it today. You know, you know what it's like with kids who go, everything's a massive rush and a faff. Right, so, four hourly, down, daily, reasonable. Let's check the three day for a moment. We don't normally do this, but we'll do it all the same. Three day in the upper portion of the Bollinger Band, also getting supported on the 200 exponential, which comes out at, in at exactly the same place as that 50 exponential. So, super support, you could argue, uh, is, is what we're doing around that 27,200. And uh, there's like a super support. We also have a trend signal on the on the uh, on the three day still in play. Uh, we'll see this trend signal cancel out if we close below twenty three thousand, and twenty three thousand is also a magical number on the weekly. Twenty three thousand, if we look down here, is the Bollinger Band center, so the twenty weekly moving average. So there's a lot of reason to assume that this is still just a series of higher highs and higher lows, looking for bouncy and movie backy uppy. Like, I don't see any problem with that. I know a lot of people probably do, so I. I do those silly impressions of, of trolls, you know, but I mean, it is the case. It, it's just, it is still a very strong uptrend to which we've made a decent, um, a decent amount of money on uh, in two areas. First of all, we did get the bottom. Secondly, we got the 21,500, which means that, yes, that's right. We're still riding the profits here uh, with a view to actually sell this up over a longer period of time to brand new highs. So, I mean, that's basically, that's basically what's going on here. As far as I can see, there's really no reason to, to doubt that it's going to break down below 23,000. And if it doesn't break down and close below 23,000, it maintains the three daily Ichimoku cloud trend signal, which is cross above the cloud, cheeky spread above price, and um, the... <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had one of my kids. Um, the price above the cloud as well. So yeah, we're all looking quite good. One thing that will happen in a little while, probably in a month or two, is a golden cross on this three day. It looks like it'll happen around June-ish at this kind of trajectory. Trajectory. So, you know, not that this is something we can backtest on the Binance chart because it's not been around too long, but um, but yeah, I mean, it, it does look uh, kind of sweet. And the last time we got it was around here, actually. So we got it here, marking a significant peak, but leading into... A much bigger run thereafter right so i've really got to go sorry about the slurred speech i literally have not woken up that long ago i'm trying to drink, uh, drink this coffee and, and uh, listen out for my kids eating their breakfast um but uh multitasking doesn't come naturally to me right so i'm gonna leave with you there thank you for watching guys hope you have a nice day
Take it easy.